you're kind of bouncing around a bit between guard and tackle. Do you have any indication from the coaches where you're going to be playing during the season? Um, no. <laughs> uh, it kind of all the the movement kind of started um, when Jake got hurt, mm -hmm. and we've just been kind of find the best possible line going into the season. You know, based on what happens to Jake. And uh, we expect him to be back for the first game and things are back to be normal. But, you know, we're just working on some things just in case. You've been uh, resting a little bit at different times during fall camp. What's, uh, is it a knee issue? Like, what's going on? Um, I'm all right. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm all right. I'm just getting a rest here and there. Coach tries to take the starters out when he can, give them a little time off so he can be fresh for the season. So that's all it is. You guys dealt with a few minor injuries during, you know, fall camp. Can you... Can you tell even through that that you guys are deeper than you were at this point last year? That you can kind of take those injuries? Yeah, not just deeper, but a lot tougher. I mean, we had guys, everybody's nicked up, everybody's banged up, but, you know, we're out there running the reps every day. We take all the ones reps. And, you know, so we're, we're, we're a lot deeper than we were last year for sure because last year it was just kind of, it was kind of downhill after a while. But, um, you know, we're deeper and we're a lot tougher. And so it's fun to watch the guys come together right now. What are your pressures of Najee as a true freshman playing like Bruins? Najee is a badass in every sense of the word. I mean, he's just, he gets after it every single day. Um, I mean, when I'm playing tackle, it's fun to play next to him guard because he just gets after it in the run game. He wants to learn. You know, he loves this game. I think he plays with a chip on his shoulder because he's so small. No one thinks that he can do what he can do. You know, he weighs 265 pounds and he's blocking Eddie and Ellis and he's, you know, stoning Eddie on the line of scrimmage. And I, bl I blocked Eddie at 300 pounds and I know what that's like. <laughs> and so it was really impressive to watch him, the way he's developed from spring ball from the end of spring until fall camp. And now it was really impressive and I have a blast playing next to him. Is he further along as a true freshman now than you were as a true freshman at this point last year? I think he's further along than me and Alex were at this point in our career last year. Um, just because his, um, his attitude and the way he approaches the game. I think me and Alex were a little bit immature. We thought we were mature, but he was really mature for somebody um, of his age. You know, it's impressive to watch how far he's come since spring football. What were some of the challenges that you maybe didn't expect last year in terms of starting on the offensive line as a true freshman? Um, challenges, game speed was one. It took some adjusting to, and I think we kind of got used to it towards the end of the season, right around, um, um, Colorado, we went to SC and ASU and stuff like that. We kind of got just the game speed a little more. And I think that's something that he's picked up on from being here at spring ball. And so it's helped him a lot. Um, and just technique. Technique is the biggest thing if you play offense line or play any position in college football because everybody's so talented that you can't win on town alone. And so that's the biggest challenge for when you transition to school to college is technique. How is uh, Malcolm kind of taking on a leadership role with the offensive line? Man, we love Malcolm. <laughs> um, he's just, he's a funny dude. He's a big dude and you expect him to be, just be serious all the time, but he laughs and he jokes around a lot. And you know, he's a, he's a guy we respect a lot. Everybody wants to respect him. We call him Uncle Bunch and we make jokes that he's 35 <laughs> years old and everything like that. But he's real fun to be around. He's a great guy. We love having him in the room. When you, Alex, and Scott all started for the first time last year, I think it was Oregon. Yeah. The first time. Did you ever feel in over your head? I mean, was there a point in that game where you're like, whoa, like we, we have a long way to go? No, actually we didn't. I felt in over my head, I would say, when I got kind of thrown into the fire at Utah. And they started blitzing me and Alex from the same side, and it was just kind of, but when we went into Oregon, it was just kind of a thing, like, we were just like, we didn't realize how big the stage was, that it was college game day, and we were just kind of like, well, let's just go play it, we're fresh, who cares? And that's just kind of the attitude that we had about it.